Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Future Shock EC. This is the car I use for duplication glitches because it can sell for up to $2 million and I'm going to show you guys how to fully max it. You will need an arena workshop for this, which you can get on your phone. But anyways, let's dive into it. So the way you get this car is you go on your phone, go to travel and transport section, go down to the arena war tab, then go down to buy upgradable vehicle. You want to scroll down to the AC Classic. It will cost you 360k, but if you have leveled up your arena, then it will cost 270. But anyways, I just bought a new AC Classic just for this video, and I'm gonna upgrade it to the max, which will make itself for almost two million dollars or more, actually. If you want to get in, you want to drive into the workshop. Once you're in, you want to go to the Upgrade Arena War tab. Here you can see Apocalypse, Future Shock and Nightmare. You want to go for the Future Shock one. I don't know what the reason is, but the Future Shock one will sell for much more money when you're done upgrading. Do you want to get that? First off, we're going to start with Brakes. You want to go for the Race Brakes at the bottom, 35k. Then go to the Boost. Go to Shunt Boost. That will cost you 520. Go to bumpers, go to front bumpers. I'm gonna go for the classic bumper with panels. I'm gonna go down to the rear bumpers, I'm gonna get the secondary diffusers. I'm gonna back out, go to bodywork. Now, the thing about spikes is um, they can easily kill you when you try to enter the vehicle, so I wouldn't recommend them, but there it, it is 55k, so that's a lot of money. So you might as well. But then next, armor plating. I'm gonna go for heavy armor. Then go down to roll cage. You're gonna, we wanna go for a padded carbon cage, which costs almost 40k. Obviously, you wanna go for the EMS level four in the engine tab. Next, exhaust. You wanna go down to the futuristic exit one. That's 10k. Nice couple fenders. You want to get the large fenders with livery and grills next. The heavyweight ram bars. This is locked, so it will cost more. Next, you want to go to hood. You want to change it from stock to blower hood, which is 14k, way at the bottom. The next, horn. Now, the thing about horn is people don't normally think this will help, but it does. It's a major help. If you go to the looped one, you can buy the San Andreas loop, that's 90k, which will increase the price with 60k. Next, you want to go to headlights. You want to change from stock to black light lights. That's 80k. You want to get that. Next, neon kits. You want to change the layout. You want front, back, and sides. Next, change the color. Crew color is the most expensive one when it comes to lights. You want to get that. Next, you want to go to livery, you want to go scroll to the bottom, Le Chien V4, that's 60k, you want to get that. And then the name, I just call it dupe dollar sign, you could call it whatever, but just make it recognizable, so you don't confuse it with another, with a different car. And then plate, I always am going to recommend custom plates for anything you do, so you want to just get the most expensive uh, plate and then also get a custom one. Next, you wanna go to respray, go to primary color. And the thing is here is, you would think the crew color is the most expensive one, but it's actually free. So you wanna get a different one. Like normally this would cost 25K, but if you go to metals and you go down to pure gold, that's actually 50K, that's double the price. So you wanna get pure gold instead. Then go down to secondary color. And again, crew color is free, but normally like 1250. And then secondary, you go to the pure gold, that's 25k, that's double again. So pure gold is 100% what you wanna go for. Then the trim, oddly enough, bright purple is the most expensive one, so you wanna get that, 6k. Accent, 
I'm gonna get the lime green one, purple lime green. Then go to the roof. Oh, I forgot to remove crown them. You might as well. This is gonna, it's not gonna change the price, but whatever. Roofs. I'm gonna change from stock to roof with livery. Then go down to skirts. I wanna get the scar skirt with panels. And then spoilers, get the large one, 16K at the bottom. Suspension, race suspension, all the works. Transmission, 50K. That's a big help. You wanna get that too. Super transmission, turbo, 50K. I'm gonna go down to vertical jump. Jump upgrade 100%, 420 baby. You wanna get that? Most expensive, most expensive one. <clears throat> and then next, you wanna go to wheel types. And Benny's Bespoke is usually thought of as the most expensive one, but it's not. The most expensive one here is 75k. And the original one was just 50. And then go down to Lowrider. It's classic ride with 78. Muscle 77 with a classic rod. Off road. Uh, 76. You're looking for the ones in the 80s. Here again, 82. That's viable. SUV. That's 82. And the tuner. That's free, so you don't want to get that. That's not going to increase your price at all. And the street. That's like 30k. High ends are actually usually the ones that are most expensive, so this is the one I would recommend, the Carvinus Racer. But in my case, it's free, so I can't buy it. It will not increase the price at all, so... But if it says 80k, I would buy it, if I were you. But in my case, I have to get someone else, get something else, I mean. Just gonna check again, 75k track I forgot track it's just 30k in anyways Let's see here free SUV that's 82 one yeah you want to get those extravaganza so as long as it's 80 it's it, it's gonna do then you're gonna back out you can't change your wheel color on this one you want to get the custom tires and the bulletproof, most expensive smoke, which is normally crew smoke. Yeah, wheel color is not not possible with this if you have chrome uh, chrome tires, no uh, rims. But then again, you want to go for the windows, the most expensive one, limo ones, weapons, RAM. You start with the light scoop one when you upgrade the vehicle, but you want to upgrade the large. The mounted uh, weapons, you want to get the plasma turrets. Proximity mine. Here you would think the sticky ones because it's at the bottom, but it's actually the EMP one. So you want to get that instead. That's 300k. And the secondary weapons. <clears throat> this will actually remove your custom plate. Uh, just, just visible. It's still there, but it's gonna remove it, so you can't see like the numbers and stuff when you duplicate. But it's gonna increase the price. So you just might as well. It's not gonna hurt you in any way. It's actually gonna make you more money. Then you wanna back out, and you wanna scroll down to the sell price. And in my case, it's gonna go for two mil and 15K. That's a lot of money. And that's why I highly recommend this for all your duplication glitches. But anyways, that's it. That's it for this video. If you guys have any video ideas for me for the for other videos, like if you want more information about dirty, clean dupes, how to make custom plates, if you guys want a, like a top crew color video, I'm more than happy to do that. Anything duplication related. But anyways, it's getting late guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.